We do thank you for joining us today. It's always a pleasure to visit with you about our market activity. I'm Marlon Bowling, your tour guide to the markets. Just a little bit ago, we got our new ethanol production numbers, and I want to share those with you to give you an idea. Uh, if the production is moving up or down, what is it? Well, this week we had 975,000 barrels per day. That's actually an increase of 10,000 barrels a day from last week. The four-week average moved up by 9,000 barrels to uh, 958,000 barrels per day. Ethanol stocks decreased half a million, and they're down to 20.6 million barrels. And the imports remained at zero. So that's the latest on the ethanol production this week. On the corn market right now, with our quotes provided by Bar Chart, let's take a look at what's going on here on the big board. And we have the May corn now firming up again. Now we're three and a quarter higher at 557 and a half. It sold off after the open. And December, a penny higher at 484 and a quarter per bushel. On that soybean trade that uh, really took it on the chin after the open, it's coming off its lows a little bit now. May soybeans at 1411 would be down seven and three quarters cents. It had been as low as 1403 and three quarters. So we've regained about eight cents from that huge drop we had from the overnight trade. November beans down a penny and a quarter at 1270. And in the wheat market, well, you have that Chicago uh, July contract on the wheat now two and three quarters higher at 615 and a half. Kansas City hard red wheat. As July now eight and three quarters higher at 570 and three quarters. How about that? That's quite a bounce off its earlier low. We're off of that now by nine cents. In the spring wheat market right now, you have July trading 11 higher at 631 per bushel, almost a dime off its earlier low. Let's go to Todd Bubba Horowitz of BubbaTrading.com in Chicago. Uh, kind of interesting where the big mover is Minneapolis wheat today. You don't see that very, uh, very often here, Todd. You know, the last time I saw a big move in Minneapolis wheat was in 2008, and it went to 24 cents a bushel of uh, 24, 24 cents. So, uh, you know, Marlon, it's uh, it is a, a a wild trade that is just really just quiet. I mean, these are markets that are kind of deciphering that they want to go higher. I, I think they still look really uh, solid and and very bullish. Uh, but you do get this type of trade, and it's been extremely quiet and really lackluster. But notice that we always end up towards leaning towards higher moves. And I think this is consistent with a market that wants to really explode even higher than it has gone recently. You know, when you get into a, a sideways market like this, like, uh, for example, in the corn and the soybeans, um, they can be kind of hazardous to try and navigate, can't they, until they finally establish uh, a definite trend one way or the other, at least until after the reports come out. Yeah, well, again, I, I'm not really concerned about the report. I, mean, I think we have solid uptrends in, in both corn and beans. However, you, know, you get these periods of consolidation, which we're seeing right now. And what will happen is it, 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 they should break out again. Now, based on the, 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 the prevailing trend, they should break to the upside. They break to the downside, that could signal troubles and that this rally is over. But I would expect the breakout to come to the upside, and I would suspect that it may, it may take the report to push it out because I think usually what we have is we have a little bit too much uh, of, of people trying to outguess the report before it comes out in position properly. And normally, they're misreading the price action. And just a reminder, the uh, managed money uh, funds, they are still heavily net long, especially on the corn. Uh, I believe last week it was over 380,000 contracts on the net long side. Just wanted to point that out. Now, Todd, uh, thanks for joining us. I appreciate all the help on the markets. Todd Bubba Horwitz of BubbaTrading.com in Chicago. And we're going to come back in just a moment. I'll get you updated on our livestock trade coming up next.